Good afternoon. My name is Frankie Puckett, and this particular grant is called Get to Know Us Inside and Out. Again, it all is having to do with social emotional learning for my kiddos. The area of focus I want you to work on is I know that in our workforce, as the kids get older, uh, some struggle just to get along with others or to have compassion and have those team playing skills, sportsmanship. And I've seen that with the ones that I work with right now. It's hard for some of them because one, they haven't had to deal with it in a couple of years, but we want to try to embed it in overall uh, aspects of their life so it can be stable for them. Why did I choose this topic? Again, I think that when you are in a work field or a school setting or sometimes even family setting, that being able to cooperate and to collaborate and just uh, being a good team player uh, helps with overall abilities to be successful. I mean, you have to be able to do that in order to be successful with building positive relationships, having a good work history, uh, a good positive experience at school. My action plan was uh, kind of like twofold. We wanted to get the kids involved across the board with both my special ed students along with some gen ed students to come in and play some games that we had that I had ordered to help with that, to build these skills. Uh, like I said, this particular project, we tried to incorporate my pre-K group uh, to the sixth grade. I've had a wide range of abilities from autism to developmentally delayed. I have nonverbal students, so they all got to participate in at least some aspect of this project. As you can look at the photos, they had a really good time. If you look at the Connect Four game, I'm sitting there and I have read a little passage, and in order to put in their disc, they had to answer a question after we read the story. I had them working teams, which didn't quite work out as planned at first, but then after a couple of rounds, they figured out that working together is a lot easier than trying to work against each other because they're on a team and they need to learn that everybody's input is worth something. Uh, some of the other games that we played was really funny. Um, the middle game is they had to build something in order to tell me about it and they had to work as a team in order to do it. And the little boy in the corner is writing on what we call a little boogie board. It just, it's an old fashioned itch sketch is what I call it with a pencil. They got to draw, to write, to spell, to do math problems on it and they really enjoyed it because it gives rainbow colors. If you look in the other corner, I am with a group of students at lunch. They asked if I would come down and eat lunch with them. So I went and ate lunch with them, with the other ones. And it surprised some of the kids that a teacher would come and sit with a group of kids just to hang out, not just because they're in trouble or because they have done something. It was just, we had a good time. We sat and talked about their likes, their dislikes, how school was going, and they really enjoyed that. Uh, we had dominoes, which I had to work as a team to to work. In the first picture, they set up 60 dominoes in all varying sizes. It actually went off really well. They had a good time. We had also uh, have these uh, game, I don't know what they are, game cubes where they hit and they get it right or they miss it and it lights up. So it's got the X and makes a sound. So it's instant automatic feedback if they got it right or wrong. So they really enjoyed that. And we did a competitive play and all the kids seemed to like it. That's my, I think those are the fourth and fifth graders there. In the center, we had last SWAT sight words. That came about a little bit tedious and I got my fingers slapped a few times because they were trying to get to the word. But it actually increased their sight word vocabulary because they had to really concentrate and look at which one it was. Um, as far as this goes, again, these are more of the games that we used. And if you look, some sometimes they got a little bit uh, tired from working or they got a little frustrated, as you can tell from the whole, oh, can't get this, to the facial expression on my little girl there. She's mad because she couldn't solve a problem that we had. But once that we sat and we talked about, you know, 
a, an appropriate way to respond versus an inappropriate way, they did much better. The outcome, I thought, worked really well. You know, they were able to go from needing four to five prompts to stay focused and on task and to get along and to work as a team to one or two prompts. You know, it was a long process. You know, we've been doing it since about uh, January, I believe. And so they've done really well. I'm very proud of them. Uh, even my one behavior student has done well as far as being able to work as a team and to share and to be able to just sit there and let somebody else do something with his items that he was using. If you have any questions, please let me know. I don't care a bit to answer them. Thank you very much.